So there is an option called manage parameters. Okay. So manage manage parameters is uh, you know used to change the data or you know filter the entire report data based upon some parameter. So how do we do that? So when you click on this manage parameters, you have two options, so like three options. One is manage parameters, edit parameters, new parameter. So already they have not created any parameters, so we cannot see this edit parameter activated. However, you can click on new parameter and start creating a parameter. So let us create a parameter and then see how it works. Okay. So parameter is nothing but you can just give it a name. Let's say I'm trying to create a parameter. So it is like a filter that you wanted to give it to your data set. So for that, you need to pick a column which you are planning to. So maybe I'm interested in filtering out country based. Okay. So I'll, I'll just make it as a country parameter. I'll just give it as country parameter. So I want to add different country and filter accordingly. Okay. So this check marks will uh, give you an option to uh, so mandatory parameter required. Type is any. So here you can see your country is basically a text. So you can select the text format. So this is a data type which you can select for the parameter. And suggested values. Uh, so you can type in any value. That means you are flexible enough to type anything. In fact, India also can type. But that is not how it is, right? So we know there is a set of values, fixed values in countries here. So we need to at least pass those list of values, which is always good. You can copy paste those values here. Or else you can also go with any value and make sure you type the right one. So first we'll go with any and then see what happens. So again, uh, if you click on OK, it will not go further because it is expecting you to type a minimum one value, right? So at least you should, uh, before you pass it on to the next step, just it is asking to put some value. So I'll put some Mexico, okay? Mexico, we are, we are having in Mexico also one of the value in the country, right? I'm clicking on OK. So a parameter has been created. So as you can see, uh, the value can be changed from here as well. This is a parameter. This is how it looks. So the symbol you can see. And you can also click on Manage Parameters to change anything, right? Again, go back and change anything in step here. So go back to your financials, uh, the data set. Uh, you cannot see any difference in the data, right? Because we have not attached this parameter to this table yet. So how are we going to do that? We can just click on this drop down, click on text filter and click on equal. So as we can see, there are five different, uh, you know, options, Canada, Germany, et cetera, France. So let's click on equals and try to add this parameter as a filter. Since you have created a parameter here, you can see equals, there's a option for ABC. If you click on here, the, there is an option called parameter. That means if you have a parameter already defined, you can select by clicking on this. You can see, it will show up all the parameters that are available. Since we have only one parameter, automatically, when I selected parameter, automatically this country parameter has been selected. Now you can click on OK. Absolute the data, as soon as I click on OK, the parameter gets filtered because we have already added a Mexico, right? So you can notice that automatically the data got filtered here to 140 rows, if you'll notice in the below section. Okay. So the parameters helps you to dynamically change the data. And also you can see, you can change the data to uh, Germany. Automatically the data changed to Germany. Not only here, you can close and apply. Okay. This is all about Power Query Editor, right? So if you do it there, and also it, you can also do it here. I'll just show you that option. The Best part is already there is a built-in report, right? So usually you have a lot of visuals here, right? We don't have, do not have it, but in fact, you have a lot of visuals, right? So let's say uh, we have country wise uh, profit, okay? So let me just expand this and I'll just convert it to Y, okay? So, okay, we have only one filter out there. Obviously you have that. So instead of that, maybe I would uh, show up, uh, at least you should see what is, which country is coming, okay? just for the understanding purpose. So automatically you can go to here on the transform data, you can see this edit parameters is coming. So if you have clicked it a bit earlier, uh, you should have seen a grayed out, grayed out option. Since we have created some parameters, you can see this option here. And you can see that parameter option is coming directly here. So you can directly change from the report view, right? directly from the report view, seeing that 
I wanted to see this particular country. Automatically, that uh, acts like a uh, filter on the back end and the data comes in there. Okay. Okay. So, Canada is filtered. So, you're getting the data for the Canada. So, this is very uh, helpful in order to filter out the data, you know, based upon the parameters. Okay. Let me go back to the transform data. So the list of values that I was talking, right? So we have other options. When you go back to manage parameters, you have uh, uh, the second option was any value and second option list of values. So list of values can be uh, multiple values. Just instead of, uh, you know, so right, typing it down, you can add in some values, right? For example, I can copy paste from somewhere or I can add in Canada, Mexico, and France. Yeah. Let it keep it four. And you can keep a default value. So you can keep default values France. Enter selected values France. Click on OK. Right. Now go back. So now you can see when you close and apply, or we can also check that uh, edit parameters from here. You get a drop down, drop down lock and option. You can see instead of typing in, you can directly pass the parameters, the values that you defined, right? So these are fixed, fixed number of values. That is very handy and it likes like a drop down. Okay. So not only that, uh, in fact, you can create a, a list of values. I mean, a query, not a list of values, a query. The third option is query. So what is this query? Query is something it will looks like, a, you know, you can pass a list, a query list directly here. Okay. So how do we do that? So let me just uh, go back. So let before. Let me keep this as it. So before that, I need to have a defined query, right? So what I do is I go back to financial. I'll duplicate this particular query and I remove all other columns, right? Remove other columns and I right click and remove duplicates. Now I have only, okay. Uh, I think a parameter has applied here, right? So I don't want that. I want to remove that filtered rows, the step, which will remove that and give me all the existing countries here, okay? Since now I have a query, I can say this is a list of countries. Right? This is a query that I've just created. So now I can go back and you know click on manage parameters, and I can use this list of countries here as a query. Now we can see uh, the query should come up. Okay, so there's one more step. So uh, since it's a, just a query, it will not directly come as a query. You need to convert that into a list. So earlier we have seen how to convert that into a list in the previous session, directly click on convert to list. So this is also one of the option that uh, is helpful for us. So if you remember, I, we have already covered this is convert to list. You can directly click on this. This will purely convert into a list. You can see the symbol has changed now. So now you go back and look into this parameter. Now you should be able to see that uh, query here. You can see list of countries. Now it is coming up because now it's purely a list converted list which will act like a query to some other parameter. Instead of this, and click on OK. Now you can go back to your manage parameters and you click on edit parameters and see the drop down. You should see all the, all of them. United States also is there, right? You, so basically it's just, so this is a dynamic one because whenever there's an update in the country in the original data in the financials, automatically you can see that drop down being updated without any manual intervention. Right. In the other two cases, list of values or in the first case also, we need to be manually typing in, right? Uh, so that is different. So this is a dynamic uh, by creating a query using this convert to list option. We are able to dynamically keep things intact. Okay, this is all about managed parameters.